following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello to my subscribers, this is the Tiafangi coming to you with a quick announcement video. Uh, for those of you wondering why in the thumbnail of the video I have Optimus Prime relaxing and chilling out on my bed, it's because I am here to announce that I am going to be taking a break from collecting Transformers for probably the next two to three months, maybe four. And that's because I made a, a, a quote-unquote investment and I purchased the most expensive Transformers figure I have ever purchased and added to my Transformers collection, and it's one that I've been wanting for a very long time, so I don't care if I take a break from collecting Transformers for a while because, as you can see, I still have a whole wall of Transformers figures to review. Some of them I've already reviewed, some of them I haven't gotten around to yet, and I apologize for that. Uh, between uh, my job and helping my family at home, um, it takes a while for me to get video reviews done. And, but the reviews are coming, and now that I'm taking a break from actually collecting new Transformers figures, I will hopefully be able to ra get around to finally doing the reviews. Use. I will admit, I do have a few more figures coming in from Amazon. Uh, and I pre-ordered uh, two of the Legacy Transformers figures. A Gears Deluxe Class Skids and Leader Class uh, Laser Optimus Prime. Those are coming. I mean, so those will probably be the last Transformers figures that I purchase for over, for the next several months. Once, uh, once I might collect, start collecting again when my birthday comes around, which is in late July. And since it's late March, that's still four months away, so I might... So, I'm contemplating that if I find any Transformers figures at my local Target store, if I might snatch them up there, but... I will not be ordering any Transformers figures off of eBay or Amazon as I did for the last two months during February and March. Arch. So, without further delay, I will show you the Transformers figure I bought, which is the reason why I'm making this announcement, announcement of taking a break from collecting, and that's because I finally added one of the Transformers figures that I've been wanting to get. I've been wanting to get this figure since it came out, out and I finally decided to take a leap of faith and purchased this figure off of eBay, okay, and I am very excited to finally have it in my Transformers collection. So without further delay, you guys, I give you, if I can get the camera to line up properly and show it off, off at a decent angle. That's right, everyone. I am now in possession of the one Titan-class Transformers figure that I was missing. I now have Generations Metroplex. Oh yeah, I am thrilled to finally have Metroplex in my Transformers collection. Action and one of the reasons why I'm super excited that I got this particular version off of me of Metroplex off of eBay. A camera got stuck there for a moment. One of the reasons why I'm excited to get my this version of Metroplex is because of this. That's right, everyone. Sorry if it was hard to hear my voice there. Here. But what I just showed you was this version of Metroplex. That was the same tape that was applied to the box at the factory back in 2013. So this copy of Metroplex has never been opened. It's still in the box. And I am just super thrilled to finally have it. Uh, that said, this version of Metroplex, technically it isn't a mint and sealed box. The box is pretty banged up and there's a huge scratch mark on the front of the box. Um... In the collecting business, uh, this the condition of this Metroplex figure is known as a NIB, which is a new in box. Basically, it means that the box itself is pretty beat up and damaged, but what's inside is still brand new and has never been touched. But it's not what's known as MISB, which is mint in sealed box, which means that both what's inside and the box itself are completely undamaged. But yes, I am just super thrilled. Build, I finally have I have the one Titan that Titan that escaped me the first time it was released. East, I'm thrilled to finally have I have Metroplex X, as it says on his box, the biggest ever Transformers figure. It definitely is for me because of the amount I paid for him. I'm not going to say it right now on cam camera how much I paid for Metroplex. Just know oh, that he now holds the title of being the most expensive. Uh, Transformers figure I have ever purchased, and with the aftermarket prices that Metroplex is going for, or Metroplex at times can be even more expensive than Haslab Unicron. On I didn't pay uh, that that amount, but I will say this: I pay, paid pretty close to the amount that Haslab Unicron on went for when he was released, but it was worth it because 
I have been waiting since 2013 to get Metroplex in my Transformers collection, so yes. Thank you guys all so much, and just so you know, I will get around to reviewing all the other Transformers figures that I've purchased, or just in the last few weeks. Eeks, I'm trying to organize and decide which figures to review first. That's one of the reasons why I keep putting off my reviews, because I get inspired to review one Transformers figure, but then I go, no, wait, maybe it will be easier and quicker if I get to reviewing this Transformers figure first, and then, no, what if I review that one first, it, first and then review the other one next, and my brain just can't organize which Transformers figures to review in what order. But since I'm taking a break from collecting, editing the reviews will keep me going until I eventually open all the Transformers figures from their boxes. But yes, thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support, and a special sh big shout out to my uh, two very good friends, the Ghost of Lord Master Starscream and Ruben Soto, for introducing me to the world of buying Transformers figures off of eBay. If they hadn't done that, then I would not have this behemoth in my collection. So thank you guys all so much, and uh, yeah, I am smiling both inside and outside and I just never thought the day would come when I um since I missed out on Metroplex when he was released back in 2013 I never thought the day would come when I would finally have him in my Transformers collection and still sealed inside the box of all things so yeah really looking forward to getting Metroplex opened up uh, getting one his arm attached to him infamously the Generations Titan Class Metroplex figure, when you get it for the first time, only one of his arms is attached to him. The other one you have to attach attach to Metroplex when you first get him, so there's some assembly required when you get Metroplex for the first time. But yeah, this is like looking into a window from into in the past. Asked. I actually got a hold and touched a copy of Generations Metroplex back in 2013 when he was released. I found him at a Toys R Us store before Toys R Us went out of business here in the United States, and at the time I didn't have the money to buy Metroplex, and a month later when I did finally have the money, I went back to the same store, and Metroplex was gone, and he never came back. So yeah, it took nine years, but he's finally here, so I finally have all of the Titan Class figures that have been released by Hasbro. Oh, and as again, and again, as I said, uh, because of what I paid for Metroplex, I'm going to take a break from collecting Transformers figures for a while, so I'm going to miss out on a majority of the first wave of the Transformers Legacy line. But to be honest, there's only two figures from the line that I had any interest in collecting, so it's not a big loss for me. So I picked the, so as far as I can tell, I picked the right time to finally add Metroplex to my collection. So thank you guys all so much. This video has gone on longer than I wanted it to. Uh, do so. Just bear in mind with me, you guys. The review, my upcoming reviews will be will start to be film, filmed now that I'm finally have all the Transformers figures that I wanted to get. Well, except for the ones that the two Legacy figures that I pre-ordered from Amazon. On, but thank you guys all so, so much. And until next time, I'm mean, you guys. Remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and healthy. And thank you guys all for your continued support. Thank you, Ghost Alert, Master Starscream, and Ruben Soto. Odo for showing for introducing me to eBay and until next time you guys transform and roll out. out. Goodbye everyone and until next time till all are one.